Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of. Anything. Are you I sure? Let me let me check. Blah, blah. There's there's this thing on the camera. I I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm looking at the okay, camera no. right now. Are are you sure? Yeah. Are you? Sit. It looks fine to me. Sit down. Okay. Okay. It's all cool. Okay, I'm not mad at you. All right. Hi, and welcome to Between Two Redwoods Christmas. I mean Redwoods. Today we will be with our guest. Garrett Lamb, Count Counselor Extraordinaire. Garrett, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I do like your trees. They're not Christmas. I thought they were. Redwoods? They're they're definitely red redwoods. No lights. But those aren't lights you're touching. Okay. Uh, so, so Garrett, uh, tell us about your experience um, as being a warrior of the outdoors. Yeah, oh, thank you. It gets me excited, you know, because I love the outdoors. Uh, for many years, I've been doing uh, camp counseling. Uh, What's a camp, camp? Clarify for me. Um, yep. I've never heard of this uh, camp counselor. What's it called? Counselor? Yeah. Is that how you, it's well, it's, it's, it's like an outdoor education uh, person. Uh, you know, we get in there with kids, we teach them about the outdoors. It's mm -hmm. that, that's super nice. fun. Mm -hmm. What do you think is it going to take uh, younger people? Not like you, You're kind of old, no offense. What do you think is going to take for them to get outside? Well, you get them excited about the outdoors, then they'll probably go outdoors. A lot of kids these days are, are playing video games, and um, I mean, I understand why they connect with that. They're, they're pretty fun. Uh, what is the most yeah. realistically anti-alias vector-based image you've seen in the wild? Um, Anti-what? Anti-aliased. Um, what difficulty setting is the wilderness on? Easy, medium, hard, or hardcore? <laughs> wow. I think I'm pretty hardcore, but uh, I'm serious here. I'm very serious right now. This is my serious face. Um, you know, it depends on where you are. What would your odds be of overpowering a grizzly bear? Me overpowering a grizzly bear? Yeah, you. I'm. I'm not really big enough to fight off. So the stories about Bigfoot. True, it's a capitalist lie, right? Right. That, that's what YouTube says and, and Twitter too. I get I've, a lot of those. Also, I've, I've never seen a Bigfoot either. Are you sure? There, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube about it. You should look it up. Trust me. Yeah. We don't see a lot of large mammals. You, you mean but... it's always safe? You're always in a safe zone? There, there's no, like, danger zone? Uh, you know, the outdoors can be dangerous. Um... Is there a PvP zone? You know, player versus player where you can kill each other? Take each other's supplies, you know? Have you ever no-clipped through the floor and found the skybox, you know? When, when you look out across the world and you see those mountains that you know you can't get to because you'll hit the invisible barrier at the edge of the map. <laughs> I hear that ladybugs, when they land on you, they give you a wish. Is it true? Fascinating thing about ladybugs. If a hundred ladybugs landed on you, would you get a hundred wishes? Has nature granted any of your wishes? Or is it lying to us? Lying to us all? What does nature tell us about the meaning of life? Life itself. Is it pointless? <clears throat> I feel, I, I think it's pointless. The water up here, I... I... <clears throat> so what would you so, so you're saying to our youth that we should bring the outdoors, indoors, right? 